What's happening guys, Coach Logan Henry here with Lost Fit and today I'm going to go over some quick mobility moves. Now maybe you're, you've heard of this before or you've experienced in the past. If not, mobility is going to be the one thing that's going to help you basically loosen up certain areas that might be stiff from everyday activities such as sitting down at a desk, moving in and out of a truck, living life in the fast lane, being busy. Sometimes you're going to have things that are going to be really stiff on you and maybe working out is a little bit painful. So this right here will help set you up, will help relieve and get you moving, especially in certain areas that are really tight and help you get more confident in working out and going out and, and doing certain forms and going in range of motion. So I want you to watch along. I want you to listen to the cues that I do. Make sure you start from where you're at. You might not be able to do completely the ranges that I'm going to do here, but I want you to build up to it and, and slowly over time begin to master it and get better at it. So watch along and let's go. What you're gonna do here is gonna be known as the floor scorpion. So when you're down, once you get down on the ground here, I'm gonna turn my neck here, I'm gonna stretch from this position. Now what I wanna do is bring my ankle or my heel right up to my butt, then I'm gonna stretch, bring it to where my heel goes all the way to the other side or as close as you can for you. Then from there, I'm gonna open my hip as far as I can. Really get the glutes firing, get the hips open, but keep in this position. Make sure you breathe and hold. Okay, then we can switch sides, turn the neck to the other side, up, turn, 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 and from there, open. Open those hips as wide as you can and bring it back down. Again, 20, 30 seconds each side. Okay, so this one I'm now gonna be on my, sitting on my back here, feet are gonna be flat. This one is some reach around variation. So I'm gonna go through a couple exercises here. But from this position, you wanna get on, on both feet to the ground. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring one hand up and I'm actually gonna shoot my hips up. Now whatever side my arm that is locked out right here, this hip is shooting up to the sky. We don't want it to drop, we want it to get up. Okay, so the abs are really engaged. Okay, and from here, you're gonna reach around, okay, like you're just grabbing something. You're trying to pull something to the other side, but everything is staying in line. So the hips stay driving up, core is engaged, and you reach around and you make sure you breathe hip up to the sky then bring it down now the next variation is going to be actually reaching up more to the sky so I'm going to do it to the other side so you can see it okay so I'm going to go here on my left side now my right arm is going to be up shoot the hip up so from here this hip is aligned now from here I'm going to reach up to the sky. Abs are still engaged. Hold it and bring it down. Now the third exercise in this, we're gonna actually reach right back, okay? So I'm gonna reach in the back of me. And I'm gonna do it since we're already on this side again. I'm gonna reach here. My right arm stays right here. This left arm stays straight. I'm gonna lock it out, hips up. Tight right here. Remember, Q is to go up here. Then we're gonna reach out. Reach out, do an active reach, stretch, keep the hips up, core tight. Breathe, and bring it back down. So those are select few exercises you can do in the reach around variations. Again, work with what you have, move up as you get more confident in each move. Okay, so this move right here is known as the reaching lizard twist. It's a little bit, uh, it's a challenging move. It's a little bit awkward at first, but remember, I want you to go in the range of motion that you're comfortable with. So first, I'm gonna start by getting on my knees in this position, okay? Bringing the quadricep up here in line with my hand here. Now, once I do this, I'm then gonna kick, I'm starting from my right side, I'm gonna kick my left foot back, okay? And I'm going to drive my heel my left heel into the ground. I'm gonna push as hard as I can. I'm gonna feel the glutes firing, everything going. My head's gonna stay neutral. My, my spine is gonna stay elongated. So from here, then I'm going to take my right arm and then I'm gonna drop in. 
Now once I drop in from this position here, I'm then going to slightly bend the elbow on the left arm. So you're going to feel everything tighten up within your hips, your hamstrings, glutes are firing. Then from here, I'm going to go, I'm going to pop up, go up, reach, 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 and then bring it back down. Then from this position one more time, we're going to pop up, reach all the way around, and then back down in this position. So maybe right off the bat, you're not going to be able to get your foot all the way, and that's fine. Work with the ranges you have. Do about 20 to 30 seconds each side, and you're golden. These next couple that I'm going to go over are some frog variations. You're going to be turned into a frog for about a couple minutes here. So what you want to do is you want to start stable from your knees. You're going to bring your hands. Okay, you want to make sure your hands are turned in. Your head is over your shoulders, just like that. Everything is compact, and I'm going to lift slightly from my back here. So I'm, I'm basically on my toes just a little bit. I'm over thing, everything is tight, my abs, my abs are tight. And from here, I want you to watch my hips. I'm gonna drive out. So I'm gonna have an external rotation in my hips. Drive, drive, drive. My head is neutral, my spine is straight. Really forcing it out. And as you see, I'm shaking here. And this is what you want. You just want a little bit, about 20 seconds of that. Hold it, then bring it back in. Here's what it looks like from the standard position. Everything keeps compact. And then from here, go out and drive those hips out and those knees as far as you can. Hold, make sure you breathe. And you're set on there. Again, 20 seconds, work is what you can. If you, if you have to slowly kind of maneuver your way and get used to driving out, that's fine but push away from the ground and make sure the knees are going out. All right, this next one, I'm gonna actually go into what's known as a regression. Okay, so it's called the gecko. We just did a frog position, now I'm gonna do the gecko. And with this, this is just gonna be an easier way for you to build up to it and get more confident as you get further and further with your range of motion. So right now, what I'm gonna do with the regression is I'm actually gonna start on the floor with my knees up. If I was doing the actual gecko, I'd actually have my everything up right here, but right now I'm just gonna start on my knees. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna keep spine, everything elongated, straight, and then I'm gonna kick my leg out, okay, in a fire, what's known as the fire hydrant position, okay, and you wanna make sure that the back and everything is straight here, core is engaged. From this position, you will then straight arm up. Make sure you breathe once again, you hold it, Everything is out. You're going to feel the external rotation in the hips and keep it straight out. Ease that down. Go with the range of motion that you're comfortable with. It will feel a little bit awkward at first. You'll feel everything tight. Maybe everything that you've been just, from just getting up, sitting down, moving around. You're going to feel a lot of tightness in there. So go at your own pace and then move on to the next one. Next, we're going to do some downward dog variations. So when you're here, I want you to get on your knees and you're going to cradle back. You're going to open the hips up here. You're going to reach out as far as you can, okay? Get the shoulders locked in. And then from this position, I'm going to lift, get my, get my knees off the ground. And then I'm going to move into this position right into the downward dog, okay? Keeping core engaged, I want to make sure that everything is, is flat when it comes to the spine. So I don't want to automatically collapse my back or anything. And from this position, you can do, you can do, uh, you can reach back your leg on the right side. So I want you to reach back. Okay, in a three point position, three legged, you're going to be here. You're going to hold out, make sure you breathe and push back down. Another variation you can do is make sure you want to keep your hips locked here. So hips are locked. Abs are engaged. Then from here, as I'm going to take this hand, I'm going to reach back. The only thing that's moving is going to be my upper back. Reach back. From here, then back. Then we do the other side, keeping hips locked. Reach back. Upper back. Then back to this side. What you can also do in this position is make sure everything is keeping, keeping everything right. The shoulders are compact. From here, now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to bring my knee up, I'm going to shoot up to the sky as far as I can, and I'm going to begin to reach around. Now I want to keep my back, my upper back in the same position, 
and hold. Go as far as I can. Make sure I breathe. And then ease it back down. So, again, I sweat pretty easily. But as you can see here, this right here, whether or not you feel it would be manly or not, this right here is crucial. And it can help you. You're going to sweat during it, but it's also going to help you move a lot better. So try those. Maybe 30, 30 20, 20 to 30 seconds each side, or even do it for rep count. Maybe three to four reps each side. All right, so that wraps it up for the mobility moves. Listen, even if you can't master it right, right away, it's, the goal is not to master each of these moves. It's to start in the range of motion that you're comfortable with and that you're confident with. Every single day, give it five, 10 minutes every day, either when you wake up, before you start a workout, or regardless of where it be, in a gym, at home, on the road. Give this five minutes a day. That's the flow, get, the, get things going, and also to make you feel good and make everything that's, that's feeling a little bit tight loosen things up. I'm Coach Logan Henry. Till the next episode, I'm out.